All right, we're on hole number three of the Pacific Cup Tournament. We're in Monday's practice, maybe qualifying round. I started this off with a uh, eagle and an alby, so it's making me rethink whether today's practice or uh, mm. or qualifying. I've got uh, several holes down here at the back, like a hole number six. I'm practicing a max, max overpower hook shot, so there's some that I'm still practicing. So we'll see how the round goes, but right now it's uh, whether it's practice or qualifying is – in doubt it's making me rethink my whole deal here so let's go to uh hole number three it's on kohung and it's hole number four this right here in my opinion is one of the most out hole in one of the holes in the game and i'm gonna bring a grizzly a carnival ball which is a one power ball so in practice, you can bring out a navigator and achieve the same thing. So you got a one power. You're not using any side spin. It's four back spin is what I'm doing. One per ring, doing a max wind adjustment. Don't care where I'm at in the club. With that setup, I'm doing a, a one per ring. So on these types of holes right here, this terrain right here looks like this. So you got this lower part down here, and then it comes up the hill and then over the hill, and then you've got the green runs out and your flag is over here. So if you're hitting back here on this part of the green, so the green, the fairway starts like in this area here. If you're on this side and you hit a little high or a little low, you got to, you want to find some spot where your rings are wedged in there so that you're in the same, you try and get in the same spot every time, because if you're a little high, your ball is going to take a flatter trajectory like this. If you're a little low, you're going to take a bigger trajectory like this. And so your end result over here can have a lot of variance just depending on where you're landing. I like to on these types of holes when I have the opportunity is to hit on the downhill slope because what you're doing is you're almost doing a rough bump in the fairway. So when you come, when you come at it, you're hitting into this right here. And then it, instead of taking a bounce like it normally would, it takes a flat bounce straight down and it digs in. And it'll go, it's, it really is like taking a rough bump, even though you're in the fairway. So I like to hit on the downhill side and you get a little bit, a uh, little bit more consistent shot setup, but this is definitely a hole in one of a hole. When we were in here last time, I was using a backbone, but I'm going to take my grizzly now because it, it's more accurate. So once you get your grizzly to level six, it's more accurate than your backbone. So it's a much better opportunity to get it in there. During the week, the tournament week, I'm going to bring a carnival ball. You can bring a carnival ball, anything that's one power with low wind, or you can bring a popcorn ball. I'm going to save those for the weekend round, and I'm going to start off with an av. And I think that's the only power one stuff that I have that's got low wind. I believe, let's look, yeah, that's it. All right, so I got a navigator and a grizzly. That's all I need. That's all I need. Let's get out there and see if we can get it done. Got to hit this perfect four backspin, one per ring. not going to do any special wind adjustment here to start off with. I'm just going to, I didn't have, I think in the past I haven't done any, the last time or the only time that we've had this hole in a tournament, I didn't do any special wind adjustment as far as my notes, my prior notes. And we'll see what way the wind's blowing. And the side wind here is not, uh, is no bueno. No bueno. Grizzly level six. And you see my opponents hitting on the up uphill side of that that mound. And so if they're what you get one time and what you get another, unless you start off in exactly the same spot, it's gonna be totally different on the other side. Like that bounce right there, that's what I'm talking about. Because you're behind those sand traps, you take the risk of getting into the sand traps. By hitting on the other side, you're in front of the sand traps, and there's like zero chance that you're going to end up in them. Four backspin. I 
get right on it. So four, four. Just need to hit perfect. Hitting it perfect, gave myself a look. Get in the hole. <laughs> and it was downhill right there because I couldn't get any closer to my rings than that. So we may have to add some wind on. Because that was right there and we were a good ring off. So at one per ring with that kind of wind, we're looking at probably around a 20% wind adjustment. I'm going to make a note here, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it one more time without adding any wind on and then see if I end up to the left of the cup. And if I do, then I'm going to start adding wind on to try and dial that in. The last time we were here, we had a tailwind and so it wasn't affecting the ball like that, but with the side wind, that side wind will push that ball off. And so being down in the hole like that with a tailwind, it's, you know, you can make them, you, you, your wind adjustment doesn't have to be as precise, but with a side wind, you're going to have to dial it in. So with that side wind, I may have to add on some to the wind. And that'll be one of those things that I work on as the week goes on, because that hole right there is definitely, we want to dial this hole in because this hole has a serious hole in one shot. Serious. All right, that was hole number three of the Pacific Cup in Monday's qualifying, aka maybe practice round of the rookie division. <laughs> Thanks for watching.